Uh, Daggy Bird here from Daggy Bird's Tackle World on the Gold Coast. Um, just heading out for a quick spotty mackerel fish. Um, a bit of bait fishing today, and I've got actually we'll troll for Spanish mackerel for the first 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll switch and I'll anchor up and we'll burly up and uh, hopefully get some mackerel to come around. Um, as always, I'm late, <laughs> it's 5 30, a bit after that. I was meant to be out at 4 30 trolling my lures, but um, a few things happen on the way. Anyhow, um, in the broad water now, we're about to head off to the seaway and uh, we'll see how we go. Keep in touch. I'm gonna keep cutting up my burley because that's the important part. Okay. Sorry about the lateness of getting that um, camera happening, but I've actually got two on, there's another one. Just down there, if you can see it. Uh, yeah. So, we need to get these hooks out as we can and get back out there. So it all works. board off this morning, I had a bit of a fall down into my low well. <laughs> it's a funny story that one. So, I'm using two hook snail rigs as you can see. They work extremely good. Oh, is that the switch thing there? Okay, so he's gonna go straight in this box over here. There's open amount of fish around. He's gonna snap his neck. Very important to bleed them. Okay. I'll get this right up out of the way, I think. It's like magic, but he's through there. Again, two hooks in our rig. They don't miss. On. Sorry about the heavy breathing, it was a bit of mayhem there for about five minutes. <laughs> but this right here was down like this, it was actually just nearly in the water, and uh, the other one was obviously on the fish. Rescued that one first, that wouldn't have a board. <clears throat> Got that fish in, and then switched to the other one that was still on. It didn't go around my anchor rope, which I was very happy about. Oh, yeah, next. So, 
want to use this rig because it's not too bad, Nick. Why did those fish come around and then disappear again? Because I burly up. You have to burly. I'm putting the pilly tail on, pretty simple. This is the first hook through here. This pilly's a little bit hang on. Next one just here. And that's it. Toss it out. Set my drag accordingly. That's the light. over here saw me catch a couple of fish then and then they're trolling really close to me <laughs> always happens that's okay I don't mind see the fish I say I'm just going to show you how to snell uh, two hooks together with, with wire and how to actually, rather than crimp it or, or twist it and tie it, we're just going to snell it onto the hook. So first thing we go from the top, don't have to go from the back, go from the top. This is the way I do it anyhow. So from the top, pull it down, give yourself a fair bit of slack so you can see that's around about probably 25 centimetres long, roughly speaking. Um, and I grab it at this point right here there and then I pass this one under and I go over the top around about uh, five times or six times like so and now I just reverse my hand so I can see that loop there and then I push that through there and then pull on it really tight. Cut the pliers if you want to get a bit of extra pull. Tighten it up. Then slide that up to the end like so. Let's see that. And then Grab this one here and do exactly the same to the bottom hook. Now I want to leave a gap of about that size on my bait. Okay, so this is roughly where we're going to get that size of the bait. We're going to uh, wrap it, it's going to be around about this distance here. So again, let's get my fingers on the right, sorry. Remember that knot's gonna slide from there up to here, which is gonna make that, that, that much longer. So that's where you start. Again, round, round. One, two, three, four, five, seven more. Six, reverse it around, like I showed you. Go through the little loop there. Pull it out, get your pliers, grab that part of it, lock it all in tight, Let's slide that up to the end here, like so. So that's the, the finished product. You can shorten that up a little bit more if, if you wanted to when you're making it, but for now that, that's fine. 
So that's going to go on the pilcher, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Cut that off. Just leave a little tag left on this part of it. Cut it off at about six mil. Uh, and seriously, that's really strong. It's not going to go anywhere. Um.